What is up you guys, it's your boy Mr. Clutch here, back again on Madden 18 Ultimate Team, and today we got new Mutt Hero Series 2, we got all these new players, all these new solo challenges, let's check out these sets, so if you had 191 overall Series 1 Ultimate Hero, you could turn that into a 90 overall Series 2 Hero, and that would very much help you get the 96, the new 96 overalls. So if you did that right there, and if you actually invested into these players, like let's say um, you bought them for like, I don't know what they were going for before, but I know they were really cheap. If you bought them for really cheap and invested into them, Look how much you would have made. 150, 150, 140k ish. That's how much you could have sold them for. It would have been some great profit. I know it would have been. Because I know these Mutt Heroes cards wasn't that expensive. I know that for a fact. So I promised you guys that I would give you guys some gameplay. But I'm going to ruin it right here. <laughs> Here is the 98 overall Michael Vick that I went went out and bought yesterday. Also got 97 Jerome Bettis. And I'm about to get the, the 98 LT. All I have to do is add that card to the set and I have the 98 LT. Um, offensively, we haven't really changed much except we got a new center. 95 overall Bruce Matthews. 95 overall, Dan Deerdorf. And we're going to have the 96 overall, Evan Ingram. And we're going to have a new tight end behind him. Uh, we also are going to get a new left guard. We have a bunch of stuff on the auction house that we're going to be able to sell to make these upgrades. So, so you know, stay tuned for that. Defensively, we haven't changed anything. Although... When we get those uh, solo challenges done for the Mutt Heroes, I think that's going to change. We're going to get a new 96 overall somewhere. Not really sure where, but I'm thinking I'm thinking middle linebacker or defensive tackle. Um, or strong safety. But let's hop on the auction house and check all these new Mutt Heroes cards out. Alright, so we're going to go through the offense here. We're going to go through the QBs first. We got 96 overall Case Keenum, and they finally dropped cards that has two different chemistries. This is actually really cool of EA to do this. I'm just going to go over a couple of his stats. He has 95 awareness, 98 play action, uh, 82 speed. It's not a bad card. 89 throw accuracy deep. Could be a lot better, but... It's a decent looking card. 96 Derek Carr with a go deep Thomas two and ground and pound. With 85 speed. 92 throw power. And that is the a 98 throw on the yeah, 98 throw on the run. Um that is about the only stats that really stick out on this card. Otherwise, this card is pretty bad. Yeah, I don't I don't like this card at all. 88 throw accuracy deep, 88 mid, and 89 play action. That's just trash, man. I thought these cards was going to be good. Uh, 96 Matt Ryan with move the sticks and go deep chemistry with 76 speed, 98 throw accuracy short, 93 throw power, 93 play action. Uh, he's alright. Throwing the run and all the other stats should be a lot better. Like, and that's just because of his speed is not that, it's not that much. So yeah, they they, they definitely butchered these quarterback cards. So it kind of sucks, but oh well. We also got this new 96 overall Ezekiel Elliott with the ground and pound times two, and move the sticks with 95 speed. 95 agility, 95 acceleration, 98 carrying, and 94 juke move. Uh, this card is a is pretty pretty dang good. Um, the only thing about it is is his trucking 
is really low. I, I would like it to be more than that. So, yeah, um, that's really all I have to say about the Zeke card there. 96 overall, Chris Thompson with toughness times two and move the sticks. With 98 juke move, 97 elusiveness, 96 acceleration, 95 carrying, 95 spin move, 94 agility, 93 speed, and 80 trucking. So everything about this card is actually really good, except his speed is a little bit low and his trucking kind of sucks. But overall, I kind of like this Chris Thompson card. I, I bet you his receiving stats is up there. Oh yeah, 90 catching. Wow. That's... That's really good for a running back, definitely. 85 spec catch, 86 catch in traffic, 90 route running. Okay. Yeah, I like this card a lot. <laughs> 96 LaShawn McCoy. This card should be really good. With 97 agility, 97 spin move, 96 juke move, 98 elusiveness, 95 acceleration, and 94 speed. Yeah, this card is an absolute beast. Definitely like it. His catching stat should be up there with 84 catching. Uh, let's see here. 83 spec catch, 87 catching traffic, and 89 route running. So the running running backs ain't really that bad. I kind of I kind of like them. And we have the one and only <laughs> Roosevelt Knicks posted on the auction house. With ground and pound times two and toughness, 81 speed, 78 strength, 94 awareness, 98 trucking, 89 run block, 91 stiff arm. Um, yeah, those uh, top three stats and um, carrying, I don't, I just don't like this card, man. Like 78 catching, 78 strength, and 81 speed. Like, really? But everything else is good. I just, I don't know. I, I really just don't like this card. An 88 carrying, like, he's gonna, he's, fumble, he's fumble prone. Moving on to the receivers, we got 96 overall, Michael Thomas with go deep times two and ground and pound. 91 speed, 98 catching, and that's, the, there's the rest of that. Um, <laughs> kind of ruined it for me right off the bat with 91 speed. I just, yeah, I don't like that. That's trash. 96 Demarius Thomas with go deep times two and, well, no, toughness times two and go deep. 93 speed, 98 release, 96 jumping. Uh, 91 catching is pretty terrible. Uh, and speed could be a little bit better. Elusiveness could be, could be better. Route running could be up there a little bit more but jumping and release and spec catch and catching traffic is what makes this card we also got 96 overall josh gordon with go deep comes to and toughness 90, 95 speed 95 catching 98 spec catch 94 release 94 jumping 90 route running and 92 catching traffic this card is actually really good okay um it's a good good receiver card 96 overall He's an actual 96 overall. Uh, no, um, no bueno on the route running there, at EA. <laughs> That's all I have to say about that. 96 overall, Delaney Walker with toughness times two and ground and pound. 87 speed, 98 catch in traffic, 88 run block. Yeah, that's the only highlights about this card. Otherwise. It's like another Frank Wachek. <laughs> like, it's ironic that they play for the same team. What's up with all these Titans, tight ends cards that are trash, yay? <laughs> Come on. So we got a 96 overall Anthony Catzano with uh, move the sticks times two and go deep. 98 pass block, 94 awareness, 92 impact. Would like those stats to be up there a lot more than they are. 96 overall, Cal Long with go deep times two and ground and pound. With 98 run block, 96 awareness, 94 pass block, 93 impact. 
eh, his strength should be up there a lot more than it is. That's the only downfall of that card. We got uh, 96 overall David Andrews with ground and pound times two and go deep. Uh, the only downfall about this card is his strength and his pass block. Otherwise, he's a good card. 96 overall, um, however you want to say his name. 98 run block, 94 strength, 95 awareness, 92 pass block. His impact block is pretty trash. Let's see, we got 96 overall, Rick Wagner with a uh, toughness times two. And move the sticks. This card is an actual beast. 97 impact, 97 awareness, 98 uh, pass block, but 90 strength and 91 run block. That's the only downfall about that card right there. So we got two left end cards, uh, 96 overall, Melvin Ingram, built with the physical front times two and blanket coverage. Uh... Looking at his card, it's not that bad. I think he would be better off at linebacker. I'm just saying, EA. Like, keep a linebacker at his linebacker position. <laughs> I don't know if he... I don't, I don't think he played end this year. I, I really don't think he played end. So, I don't know what's up with that. Carlos Dunlap with blanket cover times two and toughness. Wow. Um, yeah, this card's pretty good. His strength could be a little higher in his power move, but overall, that's a good card. 96 overall, Calais Campbell. We all know he's a monster. His previous cards were really good. Blanket coverage times two and physical front. Yeah, that's uh, enough said right there. 98 block shed, 96 finesse. Yeah. 88 power move and acceleration and speed could be better, but he's going to play like an animal. 96 overall, Gerald McCoy. 98 block shedding, 93 strength. Yeah, uh, pursuit could be a little bit better. Finesse could be just a little bit better. and Speed could be better, but... That's a, that's a good little D-tackle card. I almost forgot about DeForest Buckner with uh, blanket coverage times two and, re and reading react. 96 tackle, 96 finesse move, 93 block shedding, and 98 pursuit. Wow. Yeah, this card's, this card's pretty dang good. Ninety six overall Whitney Merciless. Yeah, this card this card's a ninety six overall. His speed could be a little bit better in his strength, but wow, ninety eight power move and ninety two finesse and ninety six hit power. Not counting his uh, other two ninety six stats, this card is really good. Ninety six overall Demario Demario Davis. Ninety speed. 98 play recognition, 98 awareness, 95 pursuit, 93 hit power. Zone coverage could be better, and definitely his block shading too. 96 overall, Luke Keekley. This is the card that I want on my team. 88 speed, 98 awareness, 98 play rec, 96 tackling, 94 hit power. At 95 pursuit, 93 block shading, 89 zone coverage. Yeah, this card's an animal, dude. I would actually probably have this card on my team for the rest of Madden. <laughs> Whether he's a second middle linebacker or what have you, he would definitely be on my team. 96 overall, Nigel Bradham. 88 speed, 95 awareness. Yeah, that's not 95 awareness. I meant 95 play recognition, 94 block shedding, 93 hit power, 98 tackling. Yeah, this card's alright. Clay Matthews, 996 overall, right outside linebacker. 86 speed, 96 tackle, 97 play recognition, 98 uh, power move, 97 hit power. Yeah, his uh, block shedding and finesse 
and speed and strength could be better, but yeah, that card is definitely pretty good. And I probably missed a snipe right there, but I ain't even got the coins for it. <laughs> 96 overall Janoris Jenkins, 98 man coverage, 96 agility, 94 press. Yeah, this card is definitely really good. 96 overall Nikel Roby Coleman. 91 speed, 96 man coverage, 94 zone coverage, 98 press. Yeah, his speed could be better. 96 overall Shaquille Griffin. 92 speed, 92 acceleration, 92 agility, 98 zone coverage, 95 press, 96 player recognition. His speed could be better, and just his top three spat, uh, stats could be better. 96 overall Antoine Bethay with 90 speed, 98 man coverage. Yeah, that's all I have to say about that card. This this card could be better in every aspect. Ninety six overall Eric Weddle with oh my god. I'm not even gonna read this off because eighty nine speed ruins the whole card. Literally, EA. Why are you coming out with cards like this? It is so late in the game. And we are still getting cards with 89 speed. Rashad Jones, same story. 90 speed, 98 hit power. Yeah, he's a good card, but speed ruins it. Speed absolutely ruins it. All right, so I'm going to go check out the solo challenges and the objectives with you guys. So for the objectives, we got... Where you can do four Ultimate Hero 2 sets, you get 25,000 coins. You complete eight Ultimate Hero 2 sets, you get 50,000 coins. You complete 16, you get 175,000 coins. You complete 32, you get 250,000 coins. And that adds up to be 500k in total if you do all 32. And you get an additional 500k, so you can earn 1 million coins from doing all 32 Ultimate Hero 2 sets. But, I don't know about you guys, but who's got the coins for that? <laughs> who's got the coins for that? I mean, yeah, you get a million in return, but unless you're Mr. Golden Sports over here, you ain't got the cash for that. <laughs> or the coins. Alright, so checking out the solo challenges, we got 32 of them, 16 on offense, 16 on defense. I'm assuming that you get just a bunch of, yeah, you get a bunch of uh, Nat Series 2 offense, sidekick packs, leading up to the Nat 2, or the Nat Series 2 offensive hero fantasy packs. So you get to choose a 90 overall on offense and defense. So that's definitely pretty cool. Let's check out these uh, packs real quick. We got the Series 2 Heroic Bundle. We got the Mutt Heroes Series 2 packs that guarantees two Series 2 players. And we got Sidekick Series 2 pack. We got a Series 2 Sidekick Bundle. Yeah, I mean, it's, it is what it is. You get 25 elites for 90, you get 25 elites for $90. I mean, I mean, that's, that's alright, I guess. But that's pretty much all I have for you guys. It's been your boy, Mr. Clutch, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.